In a studio environment is my normal way of working. In fact, I use the Hasselblad H cameras and I use them tethered into a computer to allow me to shoot product and advertising photography uh, where I can see the images very clearly in the focus software because of the tethered operation. Now, the interesting thing with the new X1D is that we can actually shoot tethered with this camera as well. So in theory, it should afford me exactly the same image quality that I get out of my H camera, especially considering I can use the um, XH adapter so that I can use my existing um, H lenses with this camera tethered. So here's an image that I've just shot tethered from my H uh, camera here. I'm now going to switch the camera over to the X1D tethered and then show you how I can control things like the aperture and shutter speed from the desktop uh, computer through the focus software. Now, I'm going to use the same lens that I was using on the H camera, and I'm going to put the XH adapter so I can end up with exactly the same lens, focal length, and aperture parameters that I had on my H camera. I'm just going to remove that lens from this camera. And we have the new USB 3 with the C-type port for the camera to attach it tethered. And that will go in to the side input port here on the camera. Attach that into the back of the computer. Okay, so I've tethered the X1D in. I now just need to focus. So I'm just going to activate the live view feature in the camera and adjust my focus. And now I can shoot tethered from the focus software. So here's my previous shot from on my H series camera. Now I'm shooting tethered on the X1D and there's the new shot. Now it's slightly more magnified because the sensor, the physical sensor size on the X1D is the CMOS um, equivalent to the 50 megapixel CMOS sensor. On this particular H camera the physical size of the sensor is slightly bigger so it's a slightly different size but if we take a look at the image quality we zoom in we've got all the, the quality we'd expect from a medium format chip there, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then the beauty is as well, I can now control the settings of my camera from here. So I'm at f11 at the moment. Let's say I wanted to go half a stop brighter. Let's open it up to f9.5, take another shot. And the next image coming in will be half a stop brighter. There we go, as we see coming in there. We can also go into the live view mode by using the live view function here. Click the button. And then the aperture is stopped down too much for us to really see the live view image. So we're going to open that up to f2.8, which gives us a brighter image. And I'm going to do a focus check. So I'm going to zoom in on the image. And now I'm able to check the focus by turning the focus manually on the lens and then I can see that updating live in live view. So I can adjust it until I'm absolutely sure that I've got uh, critical focus. I can also slide the exposure value up a little bit here if I want to increase the brightness on the picture to see it a little bit better. And then again, just adjusting the focus manually until I can see that it's absolutely perfectly sharp. And then when I'm happy that it's absolutely perfectly sharp, then I can come out of live view mode and then just continue as normal.
So the functionality of tethered operation is all there with the X1D. I'm using it with the um, XH adapter so that I could use the same lens. But of course, I could also use the um, X1D lenses uh, themselves instead if I preferred. So using the X1D in tethered operation actually makes an excellent choice as a main camera or a backup camera to my H-series in the studio.